everyone and welcome to the core puzzle. Today we'll be telling you about bathroom mirrors that are the perfect final touch. Bathroom mirrors have been a centerpiece of elegance and beauty in household bathrooms dating all the way back to the 19th century. Homeowners and designers from all fashions and backgrounds consider the bathroom vanity mirror as one of the most important design elements for a bathroom of any size. Despite this, however, the bathroom mirror is still often overlooked. People who use the bathroom will tend to notice their own reflection before noticing the mirror itself in terms of its design and style. But once the idea of choosing the perfect bathroom mirror starts to form in one's head, it can often bring about a slew of questions and concerns over making the right choice. Choosing a mirror for bathrooms of all types can be a fun and important challenge. This quick guide will help you decide which type of mirror works best for the size, shape, and style of your bathroom. Be sure to consider your aesthetic preferences as well as your budget. Number one, one or two bathroom mirrors. We'll start off with one of the most common questions customers ask. Is it better to have one or two bathroom mirrors? In truth, it all depends on the size of your bathroom. Different bathroom vanity sizes can provide different answers to the same question. If your vanity is wide enough, you have the option of supporting two bathroom mirrors or a single mirror that is wide enough to fit over both sinks. Think about the look you're going for. You can consider the following guidelines. Number one, if you want your bathroom to have a vertical look, you should invest in two vertically long mirrors rather than one large mirror. This is a great option for bathrooms with high ceilings. Number two, if you want to emphasize the spaciousness of your bathroom, it may be better to have a single wide-reaching mirror. That way, you and your guests will truly be able to tell how big and wide your bathroom is. You can, in some cases, use multiple mirrors in a bathroom even when there is only one vanity or sink. You can offer a balance of symmetry and functional spatial design with the addition of a second mirror as long as it's parallel to the first one. Adding decorative touches such as a sconce or a light fixture in between the two mirrors adds another layer of depth and variety as well. You can create an artistic and elegant composition with the addition of a decoration underneath the second mirror so that the vanity looks nice and full. Number 2. Choosing the right size for your bathroom mirrors. Size is one of the most important factors to consider for your bathroom mirrors. If the mirror isn't sized right, it may throw off the entire look of the bathroom. Instead, you might want to consult a style guide to see how you can match your mirror to the perfect fit. Consider the following unofficial rules of designing bathroom mirrors. Number 1. Bathroom vanity mirrors should be the same width as the vanity itself. 
This is a common approach taken by many interior designers, as it helps to perfectly match the mirror to the vanity. This is a modern take on some of the older vanity design styles, which came with their own mirrors attached to the top of the furniture. Number 2. Vanity mirrors are never wider than the vanity. Although there are some exceptions to this rule, it's typically understood that a vanity mirror should not exceed the width of the vanity. This may create a sense of awkwardness that doesn't match most design tactics. Number 3. You can work with a mirror that is shorter in width than the vanity. Many creative ideas were born out of the problem of a mismatched mirror and vanity combination. Not everyone has access to custom-made mirrors, and some have to make do with the sizes they're given. There are plenty of ways to make a beautiful, elegant, and fashion-forward bathroom vanity mirror out of a different size. By adding a frame, you can make the mirror appear wider than it actually is, which will give the effect of a matching mirror in vanity. Number 3. What about full-length mirror sizes? A full-length mirror can be a grand focal piece in your bathroom. If you have the luxury of living in a home with a large master bathroom, you can utilize your extra space with a full-length mirror. They are typically custom-made designs, as the dimensions and style requirements of your vanity can be difficult to match with a pre-made mirror. Also known as wall-to-wall -wall mirrors, full-length mirrors can add a nice touch above a vanity as well. You can utilize the entire wall to create a framed or frameless mirror which acts like a grand piece of art that your guests will be drawn to. With a mirror of this size, you won't have to worry about not seeing yourself at the right angles. You will be able to get the perfect eyeline view of your reflection from every angle. Full length mirrors don't need to just sit over the vanity either. They can extend the entire length of a wall. For example, the first half of a mirror can sit over the vanity, while the second half stretches to hover over the toilet. This will complete the look of your bathroom, bringing all of your individual pieces together in a modern and contemporary frame. A helpful tip! You should remember to keep the bathroom mirror a foot above and below the average eye line. This typically lays somewhere between 4 and 6 feet above the floor depending on the average height of you and your family. But the general rule is that the bigger the mirror is, the more functional it will be, as it will allow you to see more angles at once. Try to allow yourself as much space as possible. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more ideas on how you can elevate your house. Thank you for watching and goodbye.